Hi guys, so today I'm finally getting to record my Christmas haul video. Yes, it is mid-January, but there's still snow out there, so this still counts. Alright, I will not procrastinate any longer and I will jump right into it. So the first book that I got for Christmas was The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. And I got it in this absolutely lovely Puffin Chalk collection. I do love these books, they're stunning with deckled edgings. I technically have already read this book, this was my first book of 2015. I have things to say about this book, but more on that on another video. Basically, I don't think I'd ever read this before, and I do understand why I may have mentally suppressed it now if I did so, but I wanted to read this so that I could finally read Wicked by Gregory Maguire. Everybody who knows me knows I love the theatre, stage, I'm such a theatrical person, theatre is my life, but I have never seen, though I know pretty much every single word to all the Wicked songs, nor have I read Wicked and, and that's just not right. So this year I aim to fix that. Keeping on with the more child classic literature theme, I also got A Little Princess in this absolutely beautiful Puff and Bloom collection. These are absolutely stunning books and again I don't think I've ever read this book. I do think I've seen the movie and I got the movie for Christmas because nostalgia I wanted to rewatch it. But now that I'm saying this, I'm not sure if it is that. Isn't this the principle of the girl and her father goes to war and then she goes to like the boarding school, right? Right? Even if it's not, I'm sure it's going to be wonderful and I will definitely be reading this soon because it's absolutely stunning. Puffin are doing such beautiful books and I think it is such a great thing because I really truly believe that if you're going to buy a book, you're going to want to buy it. You Yes, for its contents, but aesthetically too, I would rather put my money into buying the most beautiful edition of a book that I can and then keep it forever. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be collecting all of these. Moving on to slightly more modern classics, I finally picked up The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I have seen this about so much and I will admit I know absolutely nothing about this. But people always say if you enjoy dystopia, Margaret Atwood and George Orwell are pretty much the parents to the dystopian genre. So I think it's about time that I finally fix my not knowing this and read it this year. So hopefully I will get about to this soon. What I was most excited about getting this year and pretty much it was everybody's favourite book of 2014 was all the light we cannot see. And to be fair, if I had have had the time, I probably would have got it before Christmas and read it last year myself. But unfortunately, I just didn't have the time. But I'm so excited to read this. Unfortunately, my edition isn't the beautiful blue edition that everybody has, but it's still hardback and it's still gorgeous. For anyone who doesn't know, All the Light We Cannot See is a historical fiction based in France during the Second World War following a boy and a blind girl and I'm so excited to see what this is all about myself because I've heard so much and I just can't wait to delve into it. And Christmas would not have been complete without a little bit of Neil Gaiman in my life so I got American Gods in this absolutely beautiful hard edition. Pretty much all my Neil, actually no all my Neil Gaiman collection is in hardback and I think that's going to be the case with everything that I get and I've never read American Gods yet probably one of his well-known novels, well pretty much all of Neil Gaiman's novels. Neil Gaiman is a prestigious author, everybody knows the majority of his work but if you say Neil Gaiman I'm pretty sure that most people will automatically think of American Gods and I have not read it so I'm going to fix it this year. Then this year Neil Gaiman also released two fairy tale retellings so I had to get them. The first being The Sleeper and the Spindle, which is a fairy tale retelling of The Sleeping Beauty. The second fairy tale retelling then was Hansel and Gretel, which is illustrated by Lorenzo Matotti. Not sure if that was right. But again, a fairy tale retelling of Hansel and Gretel, and it's Neil Gaiman, and it looks like it's beautifully illustrated. And it's short, it's not going to take a long time at all to read so definitely a good light interruption from academic reading. Then finally keeping with the graphic novel theme I finally got Saga Volume 1. I'm currently reading this. I've only just read the first chapter today and 
oh my gosh, I understand why everybody loves it so much because it looks like it's going to be good. Basically, the general premise is these two different races who are in this kind of intergalactic war with each other. These two people fall in love and have a child and obviously there's going to be consequences with that. And so I'm excited to see what's going to happen. I cannot wait. I may finish this by tonight. And then, obviously, me being me, I also got Harley Quinn! Yay! I love Harley Quinn. So my mum got me issue three. Have not read this yet, but I need to fix that. But my f awesome friend Nadine got me the Christmas special, and I have read this. I think I read it on Christmas Eve to get all festive. And I love Harley Quinn, so I was so excited to get this. Thank you, Nadine! So that was my Christmas haul video. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and that 2015 so far is treating you all well. Links, as always, to my other social media will be listed down below. And if you have not already, please do hit subscribe, join our little family, you'll be most warmly welcome. And until the next video, guys, bye-bye!